What's going on YouTube? Malarks here today. We're back for another player review on YouTube, of course. Now, today I've picked out Diachi Kamada. He's had a great skill move upgrade into the five star, four star weak foot as well. Six foot tall, cost me 22.5k, which is nothing. Medium, medium work rates, six foot tall. So let's take a look at his attributes. So, looking at the card, 89 acceleration, 82 sprint speed. He's got good shooting as well, 96 attack position, 85 finishing, 79 shot power. I'm more than likely just going to chuck a hunter on it just to boost that pace and shooting. I think his best position is probably going to be in the central attacking midfield. He's got very good passing, 88 short pass, 87 long pass, 83 curve, 91 vision. So we want to make the most of that. Dribbling looks to be good as well. 90 agility, 91 ball control, 93 dribbling and 88 composure as well. He's got good balance as well at 88. Physical stats as well were decent enough for me. 81 jumping, 87 stamina, 68 strength, which again is not, not the worst. Quickly look at his player trait. He's got a playmaker trait and technical dribbler. So again, it's looking like a good card. Well, let's see how we're going to line up with him in game. So looking at the card, obviously we have Kamada in the cam. I feel that's like going to be the only really position he can play. Maybe I might try him in a 4-3-1-2 and play him up front with Cantona. But I feel like his best position is going to be in that, that central attacking midfield position, picking it up on the left, picking it up on the right. Obviously, he's got the skill moves as well. So we're going to want to see how good he is with the flip flaps, scoop turns, and being able to get shots away. So we'll take him into a game of rivals and let's see how we get on. Kamada with a finish. Oh, he's in the post. Kamada's turned. Oh, that's a foul. Great play. It's a great ball as well. Kamada. Oh, brilliant. Brilliant. Brilliant play. How good he is with the, with the flip flaps. Inverted. Normal flip flap. Unbelievable play. Again. Able to just drift away. Can't tackle me now as well. Because they're on a yellow card. Gets past one. Scoop turn. It's just too hot to handle here. Oof. Maybe I could have just shot, but I thought the dink was on. There you go. Able to get through them little gaps as well. Twist. Turns. Just haven't got the finish. Goes for the finesse. Oh, it's off the post. You know, able to just get around Hakimi. Oh, he's just not able to sort his feet out. Kamada drops off. Great bit of movement. Oh, he just can't get the finish. But again, you see his movement there. Kamada, he's round one. Oh, it's brilliant play. Just a finishing that lacked. Again, just that flip flap away from the defender. It's opened up for him as well. Dinks the keeper. Yes, there we go. There's Kamada at his best. I tell you what, the flip flap of Kamada is up there with some of the best on the game. It really is. Little dink over the keeper as well. Great composure. Round the goalkeeper. Oh, and it's off the line. Kamada, great feet. Oh, it's majestic. It's majestic. It's an absolute masterclass. The close dribble in there was a joke and then to dink it over the keeper so as we see from the footage Kamada was absolutely unplayable at times his shooting's very good he can finish chances his dribbling was an absolute joke to be fair obviously I did end up putting a finisher on him I'd probably say if you wanted to play him in a cam position I'd probably put a hunter on him the only thing with him is obviously he's medium medium he really does not move from the center of the pitch obviously he's got 52 aggression as well so his runs in behind are sort of non-existent as well um, he just sort of hovers around the middle of the pitch but 
saying that if you can get the ball into him with the skills that he's got with how agile he is his ball control is great on the game as well you've got an unstoppable uh, center attacking midfielder here now like i said one of the problems is medium medium he is just another one of them medium medium center attacking midfielders that will just sort of hover around in the middle of the pitch and you've got to get the ball to them rather than them making runs in behind he doesn't make them aggressive runs like, like the pacey wingers and strikers on the game so like i said you have got to get the ball into his feet his passing's really good. Again, like I said, he's got the, he's got good long balls, good short balls. His pace as well, like I said, the acceleration. He's able to get round people. Obviously, if you did want to boost that, a hunter would probably be the best chemistry style. Like I said, I put the finisher on him just to see how good his dribbling really was. And again, in game, nobody could get near him. He was just that good at dribbling. Five star skill moves is a massive bonus as well. Obviously, the flip flaps is probably one of the best players I've used on the game doing that skill move. You know the way that. It was just so quick that they didn't even have time to react to it. So, again, it's a very, very good card. Just the only problem that you might have is obviously he's from Japan. He plays for Frankfurt. It's not going to be the easiest card to link in. You're limited on options. Obviously, you've got Nakata, which, again, a lot of people are not going to use Nakata. And obviously, just Bundesliga players or icons around this card. But that would be the only way you could sort of get this card in on 10 chem. And that's just being really, really honest. If I'm going to give this rate, uh, card a rating out of 10, I'm going to give it 8.5. Again, it's got the five-star skill moves. It's got four-star weak foot. So it's very usable. The problem is, one, he's medium-medium, doesn't move too much. Two, trying to link him in is not going to be easy. But for 20,000 coins, that's really nothing on the game. Like I said, that's one weekend of champs. Not even that, to be fair. One, a few games of foot champs, which you're easily going to be able to get a few wins, get some coins and packs. You're easily going to make 20k off of a weekend. You're going to be able to get a card with this quality in. Obviously, if you were to pack it untradeable, again, you can use this off the bench late on in game. Again, he's got the quality, he's got the shooting, the passing, the dribbling. All the main attributes that you're going to want are for a center attacking midfielder, plus the five star skill moves, four star weak foot. So for me, 20,000 coins, 8.5, you can't really complain. But yeah, like I said, it's just that movement in game. It doesn't really make runs in behind, even when I do put him to getting in behind. And obviously, trying to link him in, being from Japan, a nation that's not so popular in this game is not going to be easy to link in so yeah i'm going to go 8.5 for kamada i did really enjoy using the card very composed as well which is another big thing 88 composure in front of goal means he will finish his chances like he did but that is all for today's video thanks for tuning in like subscribe comment run the road to a thousand subscribers if you are looking to make more coins on fifa looking for more general fifa chat or just looking to get some tips on how to improve your team join my fifa trader server group the link is in the description below it's free to join it's on discord why not check it out like i said there's traders on there that will be able to help you make more money on the game without having to spend your own money thanks for tuning in and until next time